At Crestron, we have a number of auto switchers that are perfect for single display room applications. So depending on what you want to do in the room, we've got a great solution for you. What I want to talk to you about first here today is the HD-MD 8x1 4K. This is perfect for BYOD applications. When you just want to walk in the room, connect a laptop or a wireless tablet, and the room display is within 30 feet of the switcher, this is the perfect one for you. If you need to go farther uh, to the room display, we have another solution for you, and I'll show you that a little bit later. But for now, I want to show you how easy it is to set these switchers up. There's no programming. You don't even need to use a, uh, a laptop. So let's get started. Um, obviously, I've already taken it out of the box, and I've plugged the power in. I'm just going to set this down on the table here uh, with the connectors facing you so you can see everything I'm doing here today. Uh, first thing I want to do is connect the switcher and the display. Um, this has an HDMI output, so I've got my HDMI cable. And just connect that to the HDMI output here on the switcher. There we go. And that will connect directly to the HDMI input on the display. So now the switcher and the display are connected. Now I want to connect the TT100 or the Crestron uh, Connect It uh, at the table. Normally this would go into a standard four inch hole in the table. Just drop that in and you would secure it with this screw ring. You don't need any tools whatsoever. It couldn't be easier. So again, normally this would drop into the table, but I'm just going to set it right here uh, for you today. And we're going to connect the VGA and HDMI from the connected. We're just going to use this as a pass-through device for now. I want to show you the auto switching. So I'm just going to connect um, this to input one. So VGA goes to VGA one and we'll screw that in just to be nice and secure. There we go. And then of course HDMI will go to HDMI input number one. Okay. So now the connected at the table is connected to the switcher, the switcher to the display. All that's left is to connect our sources, our laptops. So first I'm going to take the VGA cable at the table and connect that to uh, this laptop. And when I do, the switcher should automatically detect the source and it appears on the room display. It's that simple. Now, I, out of the same connected, I'm going to take HDMI cable and I'm going to connect that into this second laptop. And the auto switching should work so that now the laptop that I just connected, this Mac, now appears on the room display. So whatever is connected last is what you see on the screen. Now when I disconnect the second laptop, the first one should reappear. And there it is. So that's the auto switching and just using the connecteds as a passive uh, pass-through device. Now I want to add a second connected to show more active switching, so you, where you can switch uh, between the two connecteds. Um, and again, it's all plug and play. We don't need any programming, any configuration, nothing. It's all plug and play. So um, I'm now going to connect that this first connected with a USB, and that's going to go into USB number one. Uh, that's going to carry the communication as well as the power. So when I plug in this USB connector and input one, you'll see the nice blue lights on the connected light right up. So here we go. Um, here we go. So that lights up, and now it's powered on and ready to go. Um, now let's connect the second connected. We're going to do it the same way as we did the first one. And let's start with uh, the VGA cable. That'll go into VGA2. There we go. Screw that in a little bit. And then HDMI. We'll go into uh, HDMI input 2. And USB goes into USB 2. There we go, and that should light up uh, immediately as well. So now I've got two connecteds in the table. Both are powered up, ready to go. Um, so now what I'm going to do is connect 
that second laptop with the second connected. And let's see, it should automatically switch back and forth between the two. See? I just touch the show me button on the connected at the table and that uh, laptop is automatically displayed. And there it is. See, just back and forth, just like that. No programming, no configuration, didn't use a laptop whatsoever. And everything just works right out of the box. Now remember, the HDMD 8x1 4K is perfect when the display is close to the switcher. What you can do is if, if you need a, to drive that signal farther, if the display is more than 30 feet from the switcher, then you're going to use the DM version, right? The DM uh, MD 8x1 4KC. And it works exactly the same way. So I'll show you how you just swap out the, the boxes and everything works exactly the same way. So first thing I'm going to do is well, we have to disconnect everything. So let's disconnect your, your VGA. Oh, let's see, let's pick that up. And the HDMIs, HDMI, your USBs, and of course the power. So we'll get rid of that HD, and we'll bring in the DM. So now the DM version adds that DM or HD base T output, which mirrors the HDMI output. Um, the DM output also provides power to the room box or receiver, and, uh, and they scale up to 4K, the, the outputs on the switcher. They're, they have, we have a built-in scaler in both these models, all of the 8x1s, in fact. Um, so the, let's put everything back in, right? So we've got the USBs are going to go right back in where they were. And you got the HDMI inputs and the VGA inputs, screw them back in, you know I don't want them coming loose. So everything goes right back in the way that it was. The one difference when you want to connect the DM is you're going to need a, a DM room box receiver at the display. All right, so I've got a receiver right here. Now the HDMI from the uh, connected to the display is going to now connect to the HDMI out on the receiver. I'll just set that down here. And then we'll take a twisted pair right here. Now this is going to go in the DM output on the switcher. Instead of the HDMI out on the switcher, I'm going to use the DM output on the switcher, and that's going to go to the DM input on the receiver, the room box, right here like that. Okay, so now everything is connected exactly as it was. Oh, oh look at that. I didn't even touch anything, and the laptop is right back here on the display as it was before. And I can walk over here to the connect it. You can see the green here for this laptop it says that that has been selected. I select this one over here and it automatically switches to the Mac. And I can switch back and forth just like I did before. See how easy that was? I swapped out the switcher and everything just worked. Now if you want to add a touch screen or controllable sources, or maybe you need a higher level of integration, check out our DMPS3 series of all-in-one presentation systems.